I'm Amal Kabalan. I'm a professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Bucknell. The idea of the backpack came from an article that I was reading on just BBC News and it talked about a number of students in Guinea that have been not doing well in school. So those students come from middle class families that were doing fine and then because of political strife that happened in Guinea, the students stopped having uh, access to electric power at night. My aim is to have the backpack cost less than $40. And that's where I'm trying to do testing to make sure that the equipment that I buy perform as I need. It took a couple of iteration to get the right solar panel sizing. And by sizing, I mean how much power it produces, how much wattage it produces, to charge a battery with the right capacity that would power the LED for three hours. Because I'm assuming the student will get bored after three hours studying. So that was the basically the set line. In terms of connecting the LED or connecting, uh, removing the LED and uh, charging the solar panel, this is very easy. The summer student that worked with me basically developed a manual that's all based on pictures. So and the assumption is that the person who's doing the troubleshooting might not know English or might not be able to read. So it's all based on pictures. Right now I have 15 different solar backpacks that will have all the solar panels needed and all the LED lights. So I want to take these 15 backpacks and test them in the field. My objective is to give them to students living abroad and see how the students would interact with the product. The nonprofit organization that I'm planning to work with is located in Lebanon and they uh, work mainly with the refugees that come from different areas and, and stay in Lebanon. I think the product would fit nicely with their, the activities that they're trying to, to do.